outside of Chicago. This is an area set up as a FEMA camp. This bomb enclosed portion of this camp is designed solely for the purpose of maintaining people who are against the current administration. They had 200 people in this small cage. You can see that they have other supplies for furthering their detention. We have no idea how this is being done, kept away from the major media, but clearly it is. 200 people here is inhumane and completely wrong. In America, this just shouldn't be in it. Or facilities that have other uses, but which could be quickly used to detain large numbers of people, such as this Amtrak facility in Beach Grove, Indiana. It also has these electronically operated turnstiles. In this portion of the parking lot is a brick building, suitable for processing, next to a gate that leads right out to the railroad tracks. And all of this is contained inside a fully fenced area, now three layers deep in fencing at this point. This U.S. Air Force train indicates federal and military involvement. This facility was supposed to have closed in June of 1993, yet instead several million dollars in federal funds have been spent on supposed renovations over the past two years. This small building is the only way into a particular fenced area. Inside this building we see more of the motion activated detectors, electronic turnstiles, and prison bars. Outside this building is fencing and a cattle run section of fence, all topped by barbed wire, pointing inward not to keep people out, but to keep people in. This was common throughout the facility, particularly the new fencing that had been erected. Inside the fence area on the other side of the building, you'll see signs that say Red Zone, right up next to the railroad tracks that run the length of the fence area. Next to the red zone sign, you can see closely numbered markers on the fences that are too close to the space to be parking markers, just as if they plan to have people line up to board the trains. Even as we were filming, a black helicopter flew over us, observing what we were doing, which has happened many times when we have been at the facility. The gas lines and gas pipes at the facility run the length of the buildings, and come out at some very, very large, brand new furnaces that have been installed at the buildings throughout the facility. This tower, overlooking the entire facility at one end of the facility along the railroad tracks, also has a radio antenna on it with a ladder up inside of it. It would make an excellent watchtower. Well, Walmart, after the 9-11 attacks on the World Trade Center and Pentagon, they, they uh, apparently decided that they needed to have a, a bunker. There's a facility for the Walton family uh, in case of an apocalyptic 